Hi guys, uh, it's Keith and I am going to be showing you how you want to connect to Q connect QGIS to the MSSQL database which contains the uh, DIFM data. Uh, so I'm going to log in as Francisco because I haven't uh, done his yet. I have done I have connected Brittany, so let's do that. Come on. All right. And so we click on QGIS to get that software up and rolling. And we're going to connect to the DIFM database with QGIS so that we can work with a MSSQL uh, database layer. And so let's do that. We're going to add a layer. So we go to layers. Once it opens up, we're going to add a layer, which in this case is a MSSQL spatial layer stands for Microsoft SQL Server. So we click on that and we're going to create a new connection. Okay, We're going to call it DIFM. Uh, this table that I'm pulling the data out of is from Brittany's script, the R script that she ran. It is the results from that. So I, call, I created a table from that and I call it import REF, short for reference. And the host is localhost. Now there's a bug with this. So if you were to click on test connection, it will show you an ugly error up here. Uh, that doesn't mean you're not connecting, it's a bug. But if you click on list databases, you will see that it has all of the relevant databases contained within the server. So in this case, uh, I will choose DIFM, okay, and you won't get the message now that you've done that, so we'll click on OK. And uh, so we're going to connect and now you see the different objects that we can connect to. Now there's nothing in here yet, we haven't imported anything. However, I did import information into this table here, import ref. So we're going to add that as a layer, okay? And we're gonna close this, and now you can see a bunch of points. And what does that mean? Well, those points represent, uh, if we were to look at the attribute table, okay? Um, this is coming from the DIFM database. And when we look at Latin law, these are your Latin long points. Okay. And what, what you don't see, what's working in the back, is that I geospatially enabled a, ta uh, a table column, which you don't see here and you won't. Uh, it's called geolocation. And that is what QGIS is using to produce these points. So that's, that's a query I did in the database itself to produce a geospatially referenced object uh, for each record and for each one of these longitude and latitude values and that is what you're seeing okay so it doesn't mean much unless we can actually see what uh, where these locations are so let's go ahead and uh, create a street map layer and then move the, the layers so that we can superimpose the points and there you go these are the locations for uh, all of the UIL and uh, Montana data that uh, is intended to be imported um, as indicated by the results of Brittany's um, script that she ran. Um, so uh, you could zoom into it uh, up here and see all of the points. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. But your database is working. It's working with QGIS. Uh, and I can't wait to get all of the data imported in here and then validate that data so that we've got a product. And, 